for ABC and CNN FN. Okay. And your name is? I'm Sharon Nordlinger. Hello. Hello. First toy fair? This is my first toy fair, yeah. All right. Hi, and welcome to Hot Wheels. We have just come off our most spectacular year ever. What you'd expect is that basic cars led the sales this year. Cars are the heart and soul of Hot Wheels. We introduced 96 new cars in 1996, and we're going to continue with that phenomenal success by offering 97 new cars in 1997. Welcome to the Hot Wheels Car Company, the world's largest car manufacturer. We've been making cars for people around the world for over 25 years. That's what we're all about. That's Hot Wheels. I like Wheels. the song. Speed number one is not just a fact, it's a way of life. treasure hunt cars. These treasure hunt cars really are a treasure. They're packed out in a limited production. They're a treasure because the minute you buy the car, many times the price you just bought for it. Unifying all of this and tying it together and helping to get kids into the collecting market, we're introducing our all new 1997 collector's case. This is great because it gives you a place to display all 24 of your series cars, the stickers you need to identify each car and decorate the case, and finally a book on how to start collecting, giving a detailed account of each of the cars. So it's really a great way to give this kids incentive to put their sets together and get excited about collecting. Hi, I'm Carrie Rocker. And you? Brad Minkoff. Yeah, and where are we now? We're in Hot Wheels XB Racers. Yeah. The coolest part of the Hot Wheels cool car company. Oh, are we gonna do this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, and welcome to our top secret electronic research laboratory here at WC Cubed. I am Dr. Leticia Loveless. All right, chill, my Dexter. Wait, let's cut to the chase. I mean, they already know that XV racers are hot. They're out there right now. They're flying off the shelves, and we haven't even started the TV yet. That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, hello. We're talking nonstop motorized racing action here. XV for extra voltage. <gasps> right, my little uh, cyber voltage, cutie? Voltage, yes. Now, as my somewhat ill-mannered associate has neglected to point out, each of these XV racers has been computer designed with a revolutionary super new geek, electronically powered... Super geek, she's super geeky. What my Lucretius friend is trying to say here, with all the, with, uh, without all the techno babble, is that these puppies have real working motors under the hood. Just pop them in for 10 seconds and you're good to go for over a minute of fast and furious action. Now, if these cars were full size, they would be exceeding speeds of over 500 miles per hour. 500 miles per hour? Indeed, Lamb. XV for extra velocity. Well done, Mr. Mindless. Velocity, right, Dr. Lipless? Exactly. What is your name? My name is Jessica Michaels. Hello. Hello. How are and where you? are we now? We are in Hot Wheels Track testing grounds for the world's coolest car company. This is where we hold performance stunt and crashing trials for every car with the Hot Wheels name. See, if a car is going to be a Hot Wheels, it's got to be more fun on track. 
1996, we focused on track and the results were outstanding. We had four of the top ten sellers in vehicle accessories. We had crisscross crash, G-force, starter set, and low price accessories. So we're going to stick with what's been working. Now our three-tier strategy has been very successful. First, we trade basic car buyers up to track. Second, we trade them up to power. Third, we help them build bigger and bigger sets. Now, in our low prices, in our uh, first year, we have our low price sets. They were up 58% last year. Why? It was because... Do you want me to start? I'm going to go for the short versions. Short versions? I like the door. We like the door. intersection and high bank curves for more speed and more crashing than ever. companies test their cars on rain, sleet, and snow, but here at the world's coolest car company, we send our cars shooting through the mouth of a fiery volcano. This is the new Hot Wheels Volcano Blowout Set. It combines two things kids love in track play, verticality and theming. It's high-speed, rapid-fire, mega-crashing action gone airborne. The whole thing is short, eh? Okay. So I'll just do the whole thing. It's a short thing. <laughs> Literally. Howdy, and welcome to the production line at Hot Wheels, the world's coolest car company. Now, you see, what we do here is we take all the speed and performance of regular Hot Wheels, and we shrink them on down to the micro scale. Now, in 1996, we had ourselves a great year with the success of Nightmare Alley. Due to its strong horror theme and fast-paced stunts, it quick became a hit with kids. I mean, shoot, we sold through so quick before Christmas, we couldn't make enough of it. So we here at Micro Hot Wheels are going to build on that success in the spring of 97 with the Daytona 2500. Now this here set takes NASCAR racing to the extreme. It's high-speed stunts and cool crashes, makes even my mama's macaroni salad seem tame. And if that ain't enough for you, you can link up your cars, crank up the speed with the variable speed adjuster, and send your cars to more spills and thrills than you'll see at any race. Woo! Look at those little guys go. Now to complement the set, we'll be introducing a, ba a brand new wave of vehicles throughout the year. Some of these include circuit cars, insectoids, and the city emergency crew. And that's in case the insectoids wreak too much havoc on the world. City of the future, and it's centered around these two items right here. The Hot Wheels car wash, complete with real foaming action. See the action in there? Real rinsing action on the second level, and real spin dry action on the third level. And if that's not enough, we got the Hot Wheels garage, complete with launching, electronic sounds, working car wash, and an entire service center on the bottom. So all this connects together to give you the Hot Wheels City of the Future. 